Lab 6 is a modified Atwood machine. An Atwood machine is simply a two mass and pulley system. And this one is modified because one of the masses is not hanging, it's on a table, or in the last example, it's on a ramp. In the sheet, you're given a formula for the simplest case. When the car is on the table and the mass is the other mass is hanging, the acceleration is the hanging mass divided by the sum of all the masses times little g, 9.8 meters per second squared. To show you where that comes from, as with most most things in this section, you start with F equals ma, and F it refers to the net force, and m is the total mass. That is probably the most important point, that, that m here refers to all of the mass. And then when we plug in the force, the axis is this direction pointing, we've chosen it to be this somewhat twisted direction. So we picked this positive direction to be the direction of the motion. The hanging mass is moving downward. That's we'll, We're calling that positive to avoid negatives that are just going to add difficulty. And the car is moving to the left, which we've also called positive direction. As you can see, all of the masses are accelerating together, and we can treat them as one single object. However, only the hanging mass is causing that acceleration. So when you have F equals MA and you plug in the force of gravity on the left side of this equation, the M is only the hanging mass because only the hanging mass is causing the acceleration. So to show the algebra, we have we start with mg equals ma with the different m's, divide by m total on both sides, and you have this, which if I write with m total written out is the hanging mass plus the mass of the car. So there you have it. Let's plug in numbers. So the acceleration when the hanging mass is 50 grams, theoretically, is the formula that we just proved, plugging in 50 grams as the hanging mass and 1,500 grams as the mass of the car multiplied by 9.8. I've zoomed out so that you can see the full page. On, the, on this fraction, I showed that the grams cancel, so you don't have to convert to kilograms because it will cancel, and you end up with 0 0.316 meters per second squared, much less than 9.8, much easier to measure. Then for 100, the mass of the car has not changed, and you're hanging a 100 gram mass. You can see I'm, I'm modifying the same template, and you get 0 0.613 meters per second squared. For the second case, we have a mass hanging on both sides, and so we start again with F net equals MA, and I'm going to call this my positive direction. You can see the arrows indicating this. which have now been upgraded to blue arrows. So what is the force of each of these hanging masses on the whole system? The left hanging mass, as before, has, is causing a force of gravity, which is in the positive direction, the way we've chosen the directions. The other hanging mass uh, is applying a force that is in the negative direction and it is a third as big because the 
given weight, the given mass that is, or weight, either term works in this situation, is a third as big. So we sum these up. And at this point, you are free to plug in numbers if you wish, or you can continue working without plugging in numbers, which is what I'm doing to give you guys the practice. Also, I'm show, demonstrating that, not surprisingly, this equation looks as if we just hung a lighter mass on the left end. You may remember in the first case that we had mhg equals m total times a. Here we have 2 thirds mhg equals the same right side. So dividing both sides by m total 